How to Make Lollipop Legs by Trevor Jensen. First, we're going to take a sharp knife and cut through the bone. And don't cut all the way through the bone because then it wouldn't work. You wouldn't have a lollipop thing anymore. It would just be chicken. It would be like a piece of chicken leg. Anyway, cut through the skin and the tendons and remove the knuckle piece with all of the cartilage and now we're going really fast and you're going to take off all the extra stuff that you can to get that nice and clean and it may take a little while but you do want that to be pretty clean so it looks nice and people want to grab it there's going to be some extra tendons and things hanging out of the chicken end. You want to get rid of those as well. Snip, snip. All right, and then what we're going to do is you're going to pull down on the meat to kind of force it down into a... Whoops, dropped it. Force it down into a lollipop shape. There's a really sharp bone right there, so don't jab yourself. Some people say you need to pull it out, but I tried on every single one and I wasn't able to pull it out, so you can just call that good. Alright, and then here we're going to go ahead and pull the skin back carefully. You don't want to pull it off all the way, just to expose the skin under there. You're going to take your rub of choice and apply it as liberally as you like uh, to the chicken. I'm just using these little tr lids, these tray lids here to kind of keep up the mess. Pull the skin back over the chicken, it'll kind of stretch back over and then go ahead and apply the rub to the skin as well. Once the rub is on, we're going to squish the chicken back down, try to get it as good into a little round shape as possible. Make sure it's nice and firm. You want it to, to be able to stay down in there. And then we're going to grab some tin foil. I made these little strips pre-made to make it easier. My wife's looking at me. She made the strips while I was rubbing the chicken. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, you're going to go ahead and wrap those around the uh, chicken. This will help the bones uh, not dry out and crack, and it can also dry the, the meat out from the inside if you don't. I've got this nifty little tray. Um, if you don't, you can just lay them straight on the rack, but I wanted to give this tray a try. And then repeat. I do have to say that this process took way longer than I expected it to, so it, it may not be worth it for your everyday barbecue, but they sure look nice. I've had my smoker preheating out here for a little while, got it up to 275, which is the highest that this particular electric model will go up to. Go ahead and load your chicken into the smoker. It's raining, so I'm getting rained on, and my wife's holding the camera, she doesn't want to come out in the rain. Sorry for the faraway view. Go ahead and put in a trip pan. And we're only going to use a little bit of chips. These happen to be a Jack Daniels soaked oak chip. This is actually the only chips I had around because I normally don't use chips. This thing has a nifty little loading tray, but again, you're just doing a little bit in there. Because we only want a little bit of smoke flavor on, on the chicken. You do too much smoke on chicken and, and it just doesn't turn out well. These have been cooking for about two hours. I've been sitting back and relaxing. Ooh, they look nice. And we're going to go ahead and check the internal temperature. They may vary a little bit. We want about a 165 average between, you know, the big ones and the little ones before they're ready to go on to the next stage. And this is the messy phase. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unwrap our tin foil. It's kind of a pain in the butt because it's all kind of cooked in there. It gets worse as you get some sauce in your hands. You get all slippery, but 
go ahead and unwrap them. The easiest thing to do is just drop them into the pot and roll them around. Get them all covered. You want the bone covered as well. Kind of um, just help with the overall look of it. I haven't tried it the other way, so I guess I can't really say whether it's better not to. All right, now we're going to throw them into the oven, which has been heated to 300 degrees. Doing it in the oven, partially because it's raining outside, but also just the oven has a little bit easier temperature control sometimes, especially if you're not using an electric smoker. Um, we're not putting any smoke on it, so there's really no reason to, to put it back in the smoker. So this is the easy way. Check the temperature again in about a half an hour, maybe a half an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, once they get 175 is when you want to pull them off. And those look good. Now you just want to pull them off and make them look fancy. Beautiful and saucy and delicious. Plate them up and enjoy.